his lead counsel, but he's out of town. And Judge, we do have an agreement on this case. The defendant is agreeing to, is admitting to violating the amended paragraph 2, which is failure to report police contacts in a timely manner. The agreement is, one, is to complete a driver improvement course. Two, enroll in an anger management course. Three, complete 60 additional hours of community service within three months. And then the state is also asking for a curfew. The defense wishes to argue whether the curfew should be enforced. The state does believe it should be enforced. We'll give our reasons later. But those are the four conditions that the state is asking for at this time. Your Honor, we want to start by saying the most important thing here is that Mr. Jones was sober when he was stopped by this police officer and has been sober for six months. And that's really significant here. This is a charge of revving his engine and drag racing. He's already been in jail now for three days. And he's already actually before this had done 76 appearances, 125 hours of community service. We just wanted to stress that. We intend to fight these traffic violations. We believe that they're bogus. We believe that he was profiled. But that's obviously for another day. And we would ask that Your Honor not require these additional conditions because he's already essentially done three days, which is what he would have done if he'd been on the steps program. The most important is the curfew. Mr. Jones now has a fight, a major fight, in less than a month. He trains late at night. He was actually stopped just a mile or so or less than that from the gym. He trains at night and then has to eat after that. So he's often out late at night. And if it's 10 o'clock, he can't even take his wife to a movie. He's also going to be traveling for this fight to Las Vegas. He's going to have to be training late at night. He's going to have media. We just would ask the court to at least, if you're considering all the other factors, which we don't think he needs, but that this one is really important and ask that you not impose a curfew at this time. What's the reason for the curfew? Well, Judge, in the past, this is his second so-called violation. The first was a preliminary violation where he was given 24 hours of community service. That, again, was related to a driving incident. And this one, again, is a driving incident. The underlying charge was actually a hit and run. He left the scene of the accident, and there were injuries involved. That's what brought it to a fourth-degree felony. So, again, these incidents seem to be occurring late at night. The latest probation violation was around, I believe, approximately 11 at night, again, past the 10 o'clock the state's asking for. So we believe that these incidents are occurring late at night. And if he is to stay in his house later, I think we'll avoid some of these incidents. Also, I mean, we've heard that these are just technical violations, but, Judge, when you're on probation, you are held to a higher standard. And Mr. Jones has started to fail at probation. It has been a challenge for him. He's been given this is his third chance. Essentially, he got a plea agreement. He had a preliminary violation where the state did not file a motion to revoke. And now we have the third violation here. So we are concerned. We just want to make sure that he is – nothing does happen from this because motor vehicles have been involved with all three incidents, which can lead to a serious accident later on. So that's why we're asking for the curfew. And, Mr. Jones, this is the agreement you want to make? Yes, sir. This is the agreement you made? Yes, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
you won't pull that one. So it's the three to six. Yes, sir. Thank you, Young. Clarissa Lopez, number six.